you saw it in real life, you might think you stumbled onto the set of an action movie, but this was very real, and the only one filming was a witness who couldn't believe his own eyes. Check out the video here, a man jumping out of the side of that car that two thieves were in the process of stealing. The ordeal lasted several harrowing seconds and ended in shots fired from inside that car. Tonight, we know the man who tried to stop those thieves is a mixed martial arts fighter. Action News reporter Taronda Thomas has the story tonight. Sometimes swimming, sometimes running. Igor Kostachenko spends most of his days training, but no amount of training could prepare him for this. Dragged, hanging out of the window of a car, his car that was stolen earlier that day. I see for people sit my car and go forward. Kostachenko had been on his side hustle Tuesday doing food delivery. He left the car running at 11th and race when the thief jumped in and drove off. That's when a witness started taking this video. It shows two more men jumping into the car from another stolen car. They take off not knowing Kostachenko was running behind them. He caught up with them at 7th and race. My car stopped with traffic, you know. I grabbed my door, you know, and say stop car. It's my car. The car kept driving, Kostachenko hanging onto the door as the driver threatened him. Say, don't touch car, I kill you. That's when a man in the back seat fired two shots, both missing Kostachenko. His friend, Sam Oropesa, posted the video that's gotten more than half a million views and left people in disbelief. You saw the footage of him, I guess, holding on for his life. It's not the life Kostachenko expected when he moved here eight months ago from Ukraine. He's been in this country for, I think, maybe a year now, and he's been robbed twice. Inside Kostachenko's car was his wallet, important paperwork, and all of his training gear. Now his MMA family has rallied around him, creating a GoFundMe to help the 25-year-old get back on his feet. People told me every time Philadelphia, it's it's different city. You need to be careful. That was Toronto Thomas reporting. Of course, please don't advise anyone to do what you just saw. Kostachenko says in hindsight he knows it wasn't good to approach the thieves, but says adrenaline took over. Police think thieves took that car into New Jersey, and of course they're still looking for it tonight.